today we are going to be celebrating Coda's sixth birthday. You guys know he is a laughable, lovable loaf of hair and happiness. He's a little bit awkward and uh, a little bit clumsy at times, but uh, you can't help but absolutely adore him. We love him so much and we can't imagine our lives without him. So we wanted to plan a day that would show him just how much he means to us. And uh, I feel like we came up with a pretty good idea, but first we had to make some watermelon ice cream and then it was time to get some chicken nuggets. Hello, could I please get a three-piece chicken tender? Hey, how you doing? Could I get a four-piece nugget, please? Three-piece tender. Yeah. Eight-count nugget. Three-piece tenders, please. What's up guys? So this week we are celebrating Coda's sixth birthday, which if you do the conversion, that puts him at 42 in human years. Oh, that. It's crazy because you're almost not the oldest person in the house anymore. Good job, Coda. You're catching up to her. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, anyway, yeah, so today we are going to be celebrating his sixth birthday. It's going to be a lot of fun. We have some special just time planned to spend with him. I mean, honestly, he would be happy with nothing more than laying on the floor and cuddling and rubbing his belly and stuff like that. You guys know Coda. He's just, he's so reserved. He's so laid back. Cooper is a really strong personality. Bella, who's recently been added to the family, is a really strong personality. So he has always been perfectly fine, just kind of fading into the background. He just likes being there. He doesn't need to be the center of attention. He just likes to be with us. So we took that into consideration today. We're not gonna be doing anything too crazy, but what we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be taking him on a solo boat ride. Cooper's actually locked upstairs. He hasn't even been let downstairs yet. So we're gonna take him on a solo boat ride around the lake one of his favorite things in the world. And then we are gonna have a picnic on the island. Just us and him, the alone time, the individual attention that he deserves and uh, he never really requests, but I think he is definitely, definitely gonna enjoy. So do you wanna show him our basket? So we have chicken nuggets from five different locations. Oh my goodness. So chicken nuggets are one of his favorite foods in the world. As you can see, he's already getting pretty excited. What's his second favorite food? The second is watermelon. Watermelon. So uh, if we open up this side, which it looks like he's trying to help, we have some, I guess, not really homemade watermelon ice cream, but you buy these at the store and you just put hot water in it and then freeze it overnight. So we're going to be trying this out for the first time. We'll see if he likes it. What do you think, buddy? Does that smell good? Watermelon ice cream? Oh, yeah. All right. That's going to be your dessert. We've got some water. We've got a water bowl in there. We've got an actual picnic blanket. Like this is, this is gonna be legit. So we're gonna go out there, we're gonna have a nice picnic, we're gonna hang out. I think we're gonna bring the, the shedding tool. What do you think about getting a nice brush? Good boy, he's ready for that. And then we also have our nail clippers, which he's not as much of a fan of, but maybe if he's chilled out out there, we can get some of his nails. So that's gonna be awesome. That's the first step to the day. Then we're gonna come back and we have a very exciting new gift at least for him. For us, it's not really that exciting, but I know for him, he's really gonna love it. So, well, let's do it. <laughs> Obviously, this is a lot different. I'm gonna be honest, it is way more chill without Cooper. There isn't like a whirlwind of hair all over the place and no, craziness and <laughs> Kona is just totally chillaxed right now. But, um, I do kind of miss him a little bit. And if you guys look, I'm pretty sure that he misses us. He is, look at that, look at that face. Oh my goodness, Coop, I'm so sorry. I love you, buddy. Coda, what is that? Do you see it? Those dogs are barking at us, but there's a pelican right there. Do you see the pelican? What is it, Coda? He's looking at it. I don't think we're gonna get any closer. I don't think we wanna disturb Mr. Pelican, but he's cool. We always see him when we're paddle boarding. He's very unique. I don't know what he's doing over here. Coda, we're coming up on another friend. This is another one that we always see in our paddleboard sessions. He's always up on top of that no wake pylon over here. Do you see him? What do you think of the bird? This is a very intense sighting. Does he pose a threat to the boat? He's currently analyzing the situation. Nope. nope. Looks like it's not a threat. Okay, we can All keep good. going.
Well, after a nice leisurely cruise around the lake that I think was very much enjoyed, I think he's starting to get a little bit hot, which is why we came to the island here. We are currently pulling up. We're gonna beach the boat. We're gonna get the picnic set up. We're gonna get some water out for him. Yep. And it's gonna be a great time. Coda, we're here at one of your favorite places. Here we go. Go explore. Good boy, go ahead. Good boy. Oh. Thanks, we definitely weren't all gonna step there. <laughs> I scouted out a little bit. All the way back in the back, there's a nice flat shaded area with no bushes, so I think we're gonna head back there. But first, before we head back there, we gotta poo in the bush. Look at how spoiled this dog is. Look at this view. Are you serious right now on his own little island? You are ridiculous, dude. Good boy, Coda, what do you think? I think the first thing we need is water, right? Good boy. Drink that water. We came out here relatively early because we knew it'd be super hot later in the afternoon. There'd be more people in the lake and stuff. It was still super hot today, so. It's not bad here in the shade, but on the boat it was rough. Yeah. Now I do want to point out that when I bought this picnic blanket on Amazon, it said that it was like mega oversized. So that's why I bought it. I would disagree with that. Uh, yeah, I, we can't even fit one whole coda on it. So um, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to work with what we have. Look at that. You want some chicken nuggets, Coda? So obviously feeding highly processed fried foods like this is not good for dogs. Apart from McDonald's, which has always been one of his favorites, yeah. we always chose the tender option. So it's like actual real chicken meat. So that's, that's better. It's still not great for him, but in moderation, it's okay. You shouldn't make this like a daily thing. But as a birthday surprise treat, 100%, you deserve it, buddy. I think we're gonna feed him like maybe one from each place. Just a minute, I'm gonna put him on the plate. You stay where you are. <laughs> He loves it so much. <laughs> he just can't contain himself. I guess I'll just give him to him one at a time because the plate's not happening. Do it. What do we have here? That is... That was KFC. That was the KFC nugget. This is Freddy's. That's your dad's favorite. Ooh. Those are nice and peppery. They've got some pepper in there. Well, it didn't last very long. <laughs> uh, this is Chick-fil-A, which is probably like your second favorite right now. Good boy. See, those are nice because they're a little bite size. And like this a... one's Arby's, so maybe you only have a bite of this one because this is really big, okay? <laughs> or maybe he'll have the whole thing. Oh, good boy, look at that bite. Good job, buddy. You want a chicken nugget? <laughs> right here. Look at those ear flicks happening. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Now this part is what I'm really curious about. So this is supposed to be relatively healthy. It doesn't have, uh, what is it, grain in it? Yeah, grain free, made in the USA. Uh, it's got all natural ingredients and stuff like that. And literally all we had to do was put water in it and then freeze it. So you wanna help me take this lid off and we'll see how this oh, works. Good boy, could, oh man, our ice cream has kind of Kind of melted a little bit on the boat, but that's okay. I guess it makes it easier to eat. I don't think we need to eat the whole thing, but it looks like it's a winner. It actually smells good. It does, it, it smells does like it. real watermelon. Yeah, but it says it's made with beet, so that's interesting. So we're trying to get a couple pictures for like Instagram and thumbnails and stuff like that. He just went in. I got it. And I got him picking it up and then that's where he dropped it. Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's really hot out here and there are some bugs and stuff flying around. So I think we're gonna wrap this up soon, go back home and get in the AC. Are you kidding me right now? He figured out how to open it. All right, family, I think it's time to go. It's been real, it's been fun, it's been real fun. But we can't stay here forever, right, Koda? Say goodbye to the island, buddy. It was, it was a good time, right? You wanna go back soon? We can definitely make that happen, that was awesome. Are you done? Are you ready to go home? You ready to go into the AC? He always loves the boat, but he also loves coming home at the same time. Come on, Koda, go ahead, good boy. Also, I don't know if you guys saw on the way in, but the creepy old man up in the window is still there. The good news is, is the present that Coda's getting is mainly meant for him, but I think Cooper's gonna benefit from it a little bit too. So we're gonna go inside, chill out for a minute, 
and then it's gift given time. Look who's hyped up about what day it is, but he doesn't realize that this is not his day. So we have some unfortunate news. Coda's gift was delayed in shipping by a couple of days, so it's not gonna be here in time to be recorded in this episode to be able to go up this Sunday. The good news is, He's a dog and he doesn't really understand the concept of time, so it's not really gonna matter to him at the end of the day. But, what we got him is this right here. It's one of the nicest beds I could find, and you guys know he loves his beds. This is his old one right here. He's had it for a couple of years now. We actually got it for him on this series, and it was a really nice one, but it's just been used a lot. Like, this used to be a lighter cream. It's all, like, gross and, and dirty now. It is memory foam, but it's been laid on so much, it doesn't even really return to its shape. It's just kind of, like, all caved in and stuff. There's not really a lot of cushion left, so I think it's time we got him a new bed. This one's super fancy. It's got like the big puffy side so you can lay your head on it and kind of like snuggle up into it to get spooned because he loves getting spooned and snuggled. That's like his favorite thing in the world. So he's going to freak out. I know he's really going to love it. And we're going to put that on the Super Cooper channel. So if you guys don't know, we have that second channel. We upload every Wednesday over there. So if you guys want to go subscribe, you'll see it in a couple of days on Wednesday. We actually have a video that's going to be highlights of Coda's last year. And we're going to tag it on to the end of that. So you guys can see his best moments from the last year. And then also see him reacting to that present. However, we didn't want to leave you guys here in this video. So we went out and we bought kind of an accessory present to go with this. Cooper thinks it's for him, it's not for you. What we have here, you guys know Coda loves his blankets. We have a brand new, I think it's like an Italian designer blanket. Like it, it is way overdone. You guys can see it's gray and white with the spots and everything. It looks really nice. It's one of the softest blankets I've ever felt. So he is gonna get this as a gift. So here you go, Coda. Do you know what to do with a plastic bag? I don't know that you do. Oh, you might. Get it, buddy. Space. <laughs> Here, move it like this. Look, look, get this. Get this. Good boy, get it. Get it. Come here. Good boy. Come here. Koda, come on. Oh, oh, he, he likes it. He's excited. Look at this. It's for your bed. Good boy. You know what that is. You know exactly what that is. Oh, nice boy. I can't wait to see your face when you freak out about your new bed. It's gonna be crazy. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Super Cooper Sunday, Coda's sixth birthday. I do feel really bad that his present was delayed, but I feel like it was a good episode regardless. And like I said, you guys will see that reaction on the second channel in just a few days on Wednesday. So thank you guys so much for watching. Good stuff, girl. Coop, we'll see you back next week. I'm sorry we kind of ignored you this week, buddy, but I think your brother needed the alone time. I think you really enjoyed it. Yeah. Next week, we've got some brain games coming on. Oh. We're gonna be doing some brain games, getting some treats and stuff. It's gonna be awesome. Hey, Bella? Don't let the cat out of the bag. Don't tell him <laughs> Bella, you stay good, and Coda, you're a good boy. Happy birthday, buddy. I love you.